Last week, uh, we spoke to Zimbabwean publisher Professor Ibo Mandaza from SAPES Trust, and he told us how difficult it has been to launch a book by exiled former Information Minister Jonathan Moyo called Excelgate. Now, the book details alleged rigging that took place uh, in Zimbabwe's uh, 2018 elections. The Zimbabwe Electoral Commission chairperson Priscilla Chigumba has uh, reacted to the book, saying that Moyo's allegations were out of sync with reality. Well, it now appears that a fake PDF version of the book is doing the rounds. But to what end? Well, we speak now to Professor Ibo Mandaza on the line from Harare. Uh, Prof, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Uh, this book, Excelgate, um, has been really difficult to launch in Zimbabwe. Tell us some of the challenges that you face before we talk about this PDF. Well, we tried to launch it twice. Uh uh, and uh, the last time was last Tuesday, the the, uh, the uh, 17th, and we were it was disrupted very violently uh, in a manner most un, un, unprecedented uh, for a government which uh, purports to uh, to be a, a new dispensation. <laughs> Uh, where you had uh, diplomats, including the EU ambassador, Japanese, and even South African official was there from the embassy, were harassed. And um, we had had a, an agreement with the police uh, following the first abortive launch for the police to actually, at their own suggestion, police headquarters, that they would have uh, four policemen, two at the gate, two at the function, and four and, and four uh, in plain clothes. But clearly, someone someone intervened at the top, and the police never turned up. So who disrupted so, uh, it? Uh, pardon? Who did the disrupting? Uh, well, we, it's now shown to have been uh, uh, Zanu PF uh, youth, uh, who are probably linked to the uh, uh, intelligence, uh, the state security, um, and they've been doing this for several uh, weeks now, how to disrupt and close space, uh, a democratic space, uh, including disruption of inter intellectual discussions such as Sapest Trust, but also the Citizens Manifesto, and also the bus stop, the bus stop uh, comedy show. The premise have also been have been closed uh, similarly. All right, so this book, uh, it seems that concerted efforts to try and make sure that it doesn't uh, get to the public, that uh, it doesn't get launched. What's in there that's so um, explosive? The book is, uh, the book is essentially an academic uh, uh, exercise in the study of elections by an author who whom we published in 1992, is Jonathan Moyo, his book, Voting for Democracy. He's an expert in election studies, and uh, the, the cutting edge is that Jonathan Moyo, although an academic, has uh, spent the last two decades in politics. So by implication, he would have been an insider for some 20 years. And, and therefore, it, it brings a very refreshing, if not a novel, uh, uh, revelations about how elections are rigged. In the case of this of this uh, Excel gate, it's very simple. It it is there was a server which was which was um, which was uh, employed for the election, the electronic server. And clearly, what happened when they discovered the system discovered that uh, the Nanga was losing by 33 percent to 66 uh, percent. The, for uh, to Nelson Shamisa, they disenabled the server and replaced it with uh, an Excel spreadsheet. So they went from fake, electronic to manual. Yes, that's what that's what what, what Excel gate is about, really. And and the book shows how that was done because I think unbeknown to the system. The MDC and other observers got had access to the server, and it was disenabled. You see, and this server issue became a, a very contentious issue with 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 the Concord 
uh, denying the other server, uh, even though Emerson Nangagwe in his uh, court, uh, court submission uh, admitted there was a server, but that the server had been had been had been uh, had been hacked. So that is really what the book is about. It mm. Shows how how Zek, uh, by in their own words, actually left the 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 normal procedure for conveying of uh, results. For example, the results should have gone from district to constituency offices from which they would then go to the command center. In the case of the presidential elections, this went straight from the district to the command center. Okay. So implying procedures. before that, uh, yes. So, right. so it was so illegal, it was done, it was illegal against the Electoral Act and, com and fraudulent. That's, that's basically what the book is about. All right, so now... So the book details how that is done. Okay, so now this fake PDF is doing the rounds. The book is 234 pages long, but there's a PDF that's around 65 pages. But what it does seem is that this is sanitized and takes out certain sections of the book. Um, w have you seen this, and who would be behind this? The same, the same state security people, uh, clearly. Uh, uh, one so-called Matigari was known to be a, a hope within the system. Uh, what happened basically in July the seventh? If you look at the P uh, look at that document, is dated seventh of July, uh, 2019. Uh, as part of marketing, uh, we made available an earlier version, uh, very 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 abridged version, to the Zimbabwe Independent. So clearly someone very in or someone uh, made access to it and this is what they're using to f to, to to doctor uh, and, and, uh, and 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 render uh, the document largely fake in reality yes what what sort of information did they take out of the original book that uh, appears in this uh, PDF now I, I know there was a, 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 a if you send me your mm. your WhatsApp number later on, I can give you this uh, analysis done by uh, Edmund Kuzai, which where he shows that sections of it were were uh, were, were deleted, especially those referring to the names of the officials who were who were responsible for the actual rigging, because it it, it actually exposes the names of the military uh, military personnel that were employed mm. in the in the in the election exercise and also shows that the military actually were in charge of the election from accreditation to vote counting uh, to transmission the military was virtually in charge of the whole thing to a point where zec was largely a decoration and i would argue that many of many, many of the zec uh, commissioners didn't even know what was going on I mean, serious allegations are made by uh, Professor Moya in this book, and I wonder, is you as the publisher, are you concerned at all that uh, there might be some pushback uh, from authorities? Well, I'm not surprised there's a pushback, mm. but we, we, we as publishers, academic publishers, we, we, we judge the book on its merits, and I wouldn't have published it until I was quite satisfied that it, it met the academic criteria uh, for such 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 job. And uh, it's, it's the ugly allegations. The book is very revealing and shows in great detail how it was done. And and I'm not surprised that the system is is feels wounded, exposed. And of course, there are serious ramifications, uh, as I say in my forward. Serious ramifications. What happens now that this election has been shown to be invalid? totally invalid, what will the SADC uh, uh, say, what will the AU say, what will the international community say, even though some of the uh, observer missions like the EU had pointed out in their report, uh, seeing, having witnessed uh, in Marconi North uh, after the election where uh, ZEC officials were punching in uh, fake uh, V11s into into the into the into the extra thrift sheet. But this was this was done. So basically, it resonates. The book resonates with some of the reports of mm -hmm. the observer missions. So, Zek chairperson. So it's, it's, so it's hardly an, it's hardly an allegation. It's actually a, a, a documented uh, 
evidence-based uh, account of, of the Zimbabwe election in 2018, particularly the presidential election. All right. Zek Chairperson Priscilla Chigumba says that this is far from reality, that it's just not true. What else would she say? She, sh she should read the book. I believe yesterday they bought two books. Uh, uh, Zek bought two books yesterday. So they'll be reading it with great interest. Uh, it, 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 leaves, it leaves not only Zek, but even the, even the, the, the judiciary, particularly Malaba, in, in a spot. All right. Professor Mendoza, we're going to have to leave it there, but thanks very much indeed uh, for uh, sharing your thoughts with us. That's uh, the trustee of SAPES Trust uh, that published this book by uh, former information minister uh, Jonathan Moyer called Excelgate, a book which uh, they say details uh, what happened in the rigging of the 2018 elections in Zimbabwe. Well, it seems now that there's a PDF uh, that's doing the rounds uh, purportedly to be the book, but this one has been redacted, has been uh, uh, sanitized in many ways, and has gone from 234 pages to 65. So, um, yeah, points of controversy regarding that. We'll c keep a, a point on that book for you to see what happens next. We're going to take a quick break and we'll have more for you on SA Today. Stay with us.